All right, check it out, Barney. This is how we're gonna fool Joe's dad. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks real, right? I put this pair of pants on the front legs of this horse and strapped Joe to the front with his legs tied behind the horse's neck. And then we put Cinnamon's head up the back of Joe's shirt and simply hid the rest of the horse behind this curtain. His breath is very moist, Peter. And to induce movement, I'm gonna snap the horse's balls with this dampened kitchen towel. Ah, oh my god! Holy crap, he's out of control! Doesn't look real! Ah! Plan B! Plan B! I'm afraid this is hopeless. What? I don't know what else to do. I mean, we're not going to come up with something better than the horse. Yeah, I guess you're just going to have to tell your dad about your handicap. I can't do that. If you guys were in my shoes, you'd understand. Wait a minute. That's it. I will get in your shoes. I'll just pretend to be you. I mean, your dad ain't seen you in years. He won't know the difference. What? That's crazy. Oh, oh boy, that was a close call. Is some of this room cold? All right, Peter, almost done. Huh? Huh? Uh, kinda. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. Look, Lois, Joe is one of my best friends, all right? I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, where do you hear my Joe voice? Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. No, Peter, that fights it. Bud, are you ready, Peter? I think so. What do you think, acting coach? I think you will be exemplary, Peter. All good acting coaches are insane old ladies. Emote! Hi, Bud. Hi, Joe's dad. I, I mean, uh, dad. Yep, Joe, I'm Joe. You're my dad. Joe? Wow, I guess it really has been a long time. I barely recognize you. Put on a little weight, haven't you? Well, I could say the same for you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand why people laugh. All right, everyone in the car. We got a Father's Day dinner reservation. Uh, why is Mr. Swanson coming? And why is he dressed like Dad? I don't know, kids. I stopped asking after your father said he shot a horse. Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. He's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. <laughs> 